How's it going everyone? Um, I'm sorry it's taken so long to make another video, but it's been snowing for the past two or three weeks. Um, and there's still a little bit of snow covering the ground now, but um, it's 55 out today, so hopefully I can get some videos in. Um, this video is actually going to be another staff video, and it's going to cover a move that's obviously can be used with a staff, but it's kind of more in line with using a spear because you kind of have to hold more towards one side or the other. You're not really holding it in the middle as much. Um, and depending on the length of the staff that you use, um, you might have to go almost all the way towards the end to be able to do this move. And what the move is, it's really simple. It's, again, like I said, you're holding more towards the end of the staff. And that's what it looks like. It's just an over-the-head swing and an arm tuck into um, an overhand grip stance. Okay, so over the head, arm tuck into a stance. Now, like I said, this is mostly used with a spear, but again, it can be used with a staff. Um, it's, I believe, it comes from Wushu, but um, there's probably other systems that use it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and break it down and show you first how to do it and then how to get into it and things you can do coming out of it. So you can throw some extra moves in there if you want, okay? So once again, I'm not holding in the center, I'm holding more towards, I'm right-handed so I'm holding more towards the uh, this side. If you're left-handed, you'd hold more toward this, towards this side of the staff, okay? And you're gonna start with the staff pretty much um, perpendicular to your side, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to swing it the opposite direction of whichever hand or whichever side of the body it's on. So if it's on my left side of my body, swing it to the right, okay? Once that happens, I'm using my wrist, hopefully you can see this, I'm using my wrist to bring it over my head. Now, I don't want to come all the way over my head because you want to keep it somewhat tight and close to your body. So from the left side, swing it to the right. Now as I come over my head, I want to keep it as close to my arm as possible. Okay, I don't want to come way up here with it because it's not going to look as good. So I'm going to keep it as close to my arm as possible. Now if you see here, that would whack me in the head. So what you do is, as it comes around, you're tilting your head to the side, okay? Like that. Again, practice is slow, you don't want to whack yourself. Okay? So from the left, swing to the right, around, and duck your head as it comes over. Okay? Now from here, you're aiming for your armpit. Okay? And once it hits there, you're just bringing it kind of into a stance, really. And as you can see there, my hand is in an overhand grip on the staff, not in an underhand. So once again, starting from my left, kind of perpendicular to my side, swing to the right, over the head, arm tuck, and then stance, okay? <coughs> now, there's a few ways to get into that or to um, actually apply the move. Um, one is if you're actually using a spear, um, you can go into a spear thrust into that move. Um, you'll see that a lot, especially in Wushu, um, Wushu spear. People thrust, come over into that stance. Um, another way I found to get into it is actually from a flower, and I've kind of touched on this in the um, Oberyn Martell routine I did. I'll go ahead and show it to you really quick. It starts with a flower, the uh, third version that I showed you. And as you're coming to the right side, you're stepping through, you're stepping forward with it. Okay, so as it comes to my right side, you step through, and you're basically turning that into 
an upward figure eight towards your back. Okay, so let me try it from this side actually. So flower, as it comes to my back, I'm stepping through. Now it's in the upward figure eight. And once I get into that upward figure eight, as I come through with it, I'm basically stepping through again and then going into that move. So all together, it looks like that. A little bit slower. Okay. So you're continually switching your stances to allow all those things to happen. So from the flower, I'm stepping forward to allow that upward figure eight. I'm stepping through again as I start that move. And then I'm stepping through again into the stance. Okay. Um, now that's the horizontal version of that, which, as again, if you saw, the staff is coming horizontal over my head. Okay. There's also a vertical version of that that you can do, where once you get into that figure eight portion, you actually bring it vertical instead of horizontal. So vertical into that arm tuck. And for that one, what I'm doing is, um, as I come up with that upward figure eight towards my back, I'm bringing it all the way and then basically into a basic flourish towards my back before stepping through into that arm tuck. So you would have the horizontal version and that would be the vertical version. Okay. So those are kind of two of the best ways I've seen to get into it. Once you're in that stance, there's a few ways you can get out of it. Um, probably the easiest and simplest version would be to bring it over the head, so across the body, over the head, and then you're grabbing towards the end, pretty much like a baseball bat, and just swing out. Okay, so over the head, grab, swing out. So again, another wushu thing would be a spear thrust, that stance, and then a strike. Another way to get out of it would be, once you're in there, to take your other hand and place it on top of the staff in this little section here between your hand and your arm. Okay. And as you bring the staff up, you're rolling it into that hand. Okay. So instead of grabbing it on the end, you're rolling the staff into it from that position. Okay. So my hand would go on top, roll it into the hand, and then from there, it's coming over the head into a strike. So the first version, it came over the head first, grab, strike. This one, it's grab, over the head, strike. Okay. So it stands, strike. Um, another version, would actually be to take this into an overhead flourish um, and then into a back flourish and then to a strike which would look like overhead back flourish strike okay so again you should already know how to do the overhead that's a pretty simple one I covered a while back and all you're doing there is you're doing the exact same thing as you would with that first grab strike the only difference is, as it comes over the head, you're doing a complete rotation over the head, and then you're coming in and grabbing with your other hand, pretty much in that butterfly position I've talked about before. Okay, so over the head, grab, and it's just transferring to your other hand. 
Okay, and then from there, you're doing another rotation over the head and bringing it behind your back. Okay, over the head, grab, transfer, over the head again, and behind the back. And from there, you're just doing a horizontal backspin. Okay, over the head, transfer, backspin. And then you just bring it over the head again and you can do a thrust. Like that, okay? So, again, just to recap, um, you have a couple ways to get into it. You can do it from a thrust or from that flower that I showed you. And then once you're in that, you have those different options. You can bring it out, grab, swing, or grab, swing, or that little flourish there where you go overhead spin, horizontal back spin, grab, thrust. Okay, so that's um, that little move I wanted to show you. It's really easy. The only thing you just need to practice is getting your head out of the way as you do it. And again, practice it slow, especially if you're using something like wood or something that's not soft. Okay, yeah, the main thing to worry about is um, getting it close to your arm. I mean, you don't want to be way up here to do it, because if you do, I mean, it works, but it just doesn't look as clean as keeping it around your head level. Okay. Um, so really the main thing is just getting your head out of the way for that and then into your arm, into that stance, okay? Um, I'm not really sure what to call this move, to be honest. It's just something um, I've seen used in, again, mainly wushu, but it's probably used in other styles as well. And again, um, for those that have seen me use a saber staff, it can't really be used with that. I mean, if you held all the way to the, one of the ends of the hilt, maybe you could do it, but again, this is used mainly with an actual staff, or like I said, a spear, so that's mainly what this is used for, but again, it's pretty easy to learn, so it shouldn't take you too long to get it. Um, yeah, that's that staff, or that's that move, and um, hopefully I can come up with some more to do for this one, because staff is one of my favorite weapons, so <laughs> anyway, um, practice that one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.